It seems like half the battle with most applications today is trying to figure out how to get your data into their program. But with ScanOf, it's possible to scan, snap, email, or upload your documents, making it convenient for just about any workflow. During this video, we'll provide you an overview of how to upload your first document, review the information, and finally, how to export the verified data to QuickBooks Online. So let's get started. After creating a new account and logging into ScanOf, you'll find yourself on the application's main dashboard. From this dashboard, it's possible to view the status of your connection to your QuickBooks Online company file, as well as a summary of all the documents that have been processed and their status. These documents have been broken up into two categories, with vendor invoices on the left and expense receipts on the right. Below the summary tables, the user is presented with the option to upload a file or scan a document for processing. For this video, first we'll begin by processing a vendor bill, and then we'll upload an expense receipt. By clicking on the Inbox Summary, or the Upload button, you'll be directed to the document library where most of the activity will take place. After you've uploaded your invoice, you can go to your inbox to find it listed. On the left-hand side, you'll immediately see a picture of the invoice for you to review, and on the right-hand side, the ability to modify any of the data. For line items, click on the Show Lines, and you'll notice that it's actually capturing each of the different line items and their descriptions, quantities, and amounts. After reviewing the information from the invoice was captured correctly, reconfirm that the total on the invoice is the same on the right-hand side. Once information is all correct, you'll see a no errors detected and click on the verify button. Once verified, follow up by clicking sync with QuickBooks. On the next screen, you'll be presented with a list of different export options, such as assigning a class, customer, and billable status. Once you are satisfied with the way the information is presented, select the export to QuickBooks button and your data will automatically be added to the company file. Now that we added our vendor bills into QuickBooks Online, let's upload a couple expense receipts as we walk through the process. Start by selecting the Upload Receipts button and select the documents that need to be converted. ScanNow's advanced artificial intelligence allows you to upload multiple files as well as adjust skewed images to allow for better OCR performance. Once ScanOf completes its review of your receipts, the documents will be listed in the inbox awaiting your review. Upon inspection of the document, you may find that some of the information listed is incorrect. Most of these details will automatically be adjusted by verifying the document. But before selecting the Verify button, confirm that the correct merchant name has been listed. If the merchant is not a part of your list, you can add them at this time. Additionally, while reviewing the information, should you notice that the sales tax amount or the total amount are incorrect, the total can be recalculated by simply clicking in the field. Once satisfied with the information being presented, verify the data, then select the Sync with QuickBooks button to proceed forward to the export screen. A feature unique to expense receipts is the ability to add a vendor alias name for the documents. This can be seen through the merchant name at the top in comparison to the vendor name listed below. For example, instead of adding every Chevron, Arco, or 76 for different gas stations, you could simply create a vendor alias that says Auto Fuel for all transactions to be renamed the same way. Finally, select the Export to QuickBooks button and the information will automatically be synced to your QuickBooks Online company file. If you've got additional questions or looking for some advice, feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to us directly at info at parkwaymail.com. And as always, here's wishing you a very successful week.